Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this unboxing of the TT Esports Poseidon Z Mechanical Gaming RGB Backlit Keyboard. My name is Ben and I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step review of this product. First and foremost, people who are interested in this keyboard should know that this keyboard does not sport Cherry MX switches. Instead, it has a very special TT Esports certified switch that is guaranteed to last 50 million keyboard strokes and TT Esports is so certain of this long lifespan that they have included a 5 year warranty in the package to go with it. The model that I am using right now is TT Esports certified blue switches. Now let's hop into the dashboard for this device. To get this software you will have to go to the official TT Esports website and I will leave a link to that in the description below this video. So this is the dashboard where you can change your keyboard's backlighting to any desired color that you choose. Here you are able to change the color when fully backlit or in reactive mode, and reactive mode is also known as ghost mode. Alternatively, if you want to make full use of your 16.8 million colors, you can go ahead and switch on wave, ripple, or aeroflow to get full RGB backlighting. The following will be a demonstration of all the backlighting methods available to users besides fully lighted backlit mode. So here you can see I am using reactive mode, which is also known as ghosting mode. It's very simple, you press a key and then it stays temporarily lit for a few seconds of time. Next up, we have arrow flow mode. As you can see, every time I push a key, we see lights flowing in the opposite direction of the key that I push in a horizontal direction. Next up is wave mode. There's a lot to see here, but there's not a whole lot to explain. And last but not least, we have ripple mode, which is basically punching in a key and then seeing an explosion of color go out in all directions of the key that was pressed. One final detail regarding the lighting on the keyboard is by hitting function number and F11, you will dim the lights on the keyboard, and by hitting function number and F12, you will brighten the lights. This applies to all lighting methods of the keyboard. A few more features of this keyboard as follows. There are five programmable macro profiles on this keyboard and 102 programmable keys. Now the two keys that cannot be programmed are of course the Windows key and the function number key. With up to date drivers and using the USB plugin you have 100% anti ghosting capability, seven multimedia keys and smart cable management via three directions. Coming in at a standard market price of 120 US dollars, if you are a gamer that really likes to go big or not at all, and if you really love RTS and MOBA games, then this keyboard is the one you want to have. If you guys are first person shooter lovers, I would probably recommend the Brown Switch Edition. On weekends, I love grinding through the ladder on StarCraft 2, Legacy of the Void, as well as League of Legends, so this one has got to be my keyboard of choice simply given the fact that the keys don't leave my fingers feeling sore. 